guys, it's Dottie, and today's toy hunt is at the Disney outlet in Camarillo, California. I was looking for some stuff from my personal collection and some stuff to unbox for you. For this video, I am doing a voiceover for a few reasons. One, it is very, very loud in the Disney store, so I wanna make sure you all can hear me very well. And number two, people are there with their families. They're there with their little ones, so I definitely don't wanna ruin the shopping experience for them. When you first walk into the store, you are greeted with all of these beautiful princess dolls. And I love that they have a vast selection. They have something for everybody. And here they are out of the boxes. We got Jasmine, Pocahontas, Ariel, Anna, and Elsa. And these dolls are only $15. So one thing you are gonna see in this video is there are a ton of mini brands Disney store pieces in the store. So we have that Spider-Man and here we have Forky. Of course, Forky is one of the commons and one of the ultra rares. It's always crazy to me to see those little mini brands pieces in life size. Oh, I just think that's so crazy. And Forky was $10.98. And here we have Darth Vader. I can't tell if that's the exact piece from mini brands Disney store, but it looks pretty close. We have a character from the Mandalorian from the movie Raya and that's Spider-Man and a character from a Marvel movie. I'm not sure who that is. But let me know who that is in the comments. So when I spun around, I saw these. It's Woody. And Woody is another piece from Disney Store Mini Brands. And we have Rex. I think Rex is so cute. And when I spun around again, I saw these, the Disney animator doll. So we have Ariel, which is also from Mini Brand Disney Store, Alice and Snow White. It's so crazy again to see them in real life. Again, there's Ariel again. And then we have Tiana. I thought she was so pretty and over here we have princess jasmine and look another piece from mini brands disney store we have lightning mcqueen which of course is an ultra rare and a common Next, I thought this piece was so stinking cute. It is a little mini smoothie maker. You got strawberries, bananas, the ice, and when you move that, it actually blends it. How stinking cute is that? Here we have this stinking cute little Mickey Mouse conductor set. You have the hat, the hole punch, the glasses, and this little light. I just thought this set was really, really cute. So it looks like there are more pieces to the animators collection. You have Sleeping Beauty, we also have Moana, and we have Ariel, and this was $19.99. And I love that it comes with Flounder, and we also got Sebastian. So it looks like we have more of the little Disney princess dolls. We have Sleeping Beauty, Ariel, Tiana, and another Sleeping Beauty. And oh my goodness, I have to tell you all, I am a sucker for any type of baking set. We have a Snow White little pie kit. How cute is that? And then when I turned the corner, I found this stinking cute little Minnie Mouse ice cream set. I love that there are little sprinkles in the ear. And this was a 13 piece collection. And when I turned it around, we have a little Sunday dish. And right behind that ice cream set, we found Jesse, another piece from Minnie Brand's Disney store. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. I then couldn't help but notice this awesome little purple giant Mickey ears. They were so neat. I'm gonna have to tell you all, it took me so long to get this shot. <laughs> Again, it is my goal not to get anybody in my shot. I don't wanna ruin anybody else's shopping experience, but this took a while for me to get this shot. So these are all of the little bubble ones. So here we have Stitch and a little rocket ship. How cute is that? This one was my favorite. It is Mickey Mouse, little pink bow. I thought Chip was really cute. Then I saw something even cuter. It is the Mickey balloon. So, so cute. So if you've never been to a Disney store, you will not believe how many stuffed animals are there. I found this little Dumbo. I think Dumbo is so stinking cute. Again, I can never watch the movie, but I think Dumbo is really cute. Uh, there we have Simba and we have Tigger and another big wall of stuffed animals. You've got Stitch and on the bottom you've got Winnie the Pooh. Looks like we have Nala, Tiana, Rapunzel. And on this wall we have Minnie Mouse, Mickey, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's Daisy Duck. She is my absolute favorite and she is so hard to find. I was so happy to find her. We did a little dance together. <laughs> find out at the very end if I took Daisy home, but we also have Donald Duck, we have Goofy, we have Buzz and Jessie. The next cool item I found was this little Moana beach bag. I thought the orange was really pretty and you open it up and it was super, super roomy. Again, find out at the end if I did get that little bag. But here is Mickey Mouse. Looks like he has a little bib that says Los Angeles. That's awesome. So here we have these little blind bags, tea cup cuties. I thought they were really cute, but not something I was really interested in unboxing. So here we have some wishables. I do love unboxing wishables. And we also have these wishables little incredible set. 
And below the wish bowls were these little puzzles. I did think these puzzles were really, really cute, but I did so many puzzles during the pandemic. I don't think I can ever do a puzzle ever again. And then, oh my goodness, I found the Disney Rewind. I've been looking for these absolutely everywhere. I unboxed these a little while ago and I had so much fun unboxing them. I was so happy to find them. So one thing I was surprised about was the very small selection of Disney pins. Disney is known for their pins, so I was surprised to see so little of them. They had these little villains that says, not today, Maleficent. <laughs> today is the I'm celebrating National Button Day. I thought that was really cute and unique. They had these Corella pins. I've never seen these before. And the last pin that they had was this Happy Father's Day pin from 2021. So I know I've said it before, I love absolutely anything to do with baking. So I saw this, I thought it was really cute, but I didn't know what it was. I couldn't tell if it was a magnet or a dog toy, but either way, it was really cute. I found this Mickey sponge, uh, not the best quality, <laughs> but it was still really cute. So I did find the Disney accessories. We had the stinking cute little R2 head bow. We did have these keychains. We have Minnie Mouse. We also have Mickey Mouse and we do have a, another Mickey Mouse, but this one is also gold. I thought these earrings were cute. We have Minnie Mouse, one that says Mickey and little snow globes. So spoiler alert, I didn't get this, but I really, really wish I had. We have Mickey cookie cutters, this little mixing bowl with Minnie, Chip or Dale and Goofy. And inside the mixing bowl, you have a whisk and a spatula, and it was only $18. I really, really regret not buying this. Maybe they'll have it next time I go. Next for me was this blast from the past, this little Peter Pan Captain Hook set. You have the little hook and the sword. I had this when I was a kid and I loved it so much. For those who love Nightmare Before Christmas, we have a Sally and Jack jacket. Then I found all of the Disney keys. I was surprised of the collection they had. It was pretty good. We have a Pluto key. We then have this little Valentine's Day theme, Mickey and Minnie. We then have one for the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Looks like we have an Alice in Wonderland. I love the Cheshire Cat right there. A 2021 key. Looks like we have a Star Wars Mandalorian theme. And lastly, it looks like we have a little Christmas Mandalorian theme one as well. So these were the only Mickey ears that we found in the store. I don't think the blue one counts because it's not Mickey ears. I found these uh, kind of basic, so I didn't get those. So what did I get? I got the Disney Rewind for a future unboxing. I did buy seven of these. I cannot wait to open these. But look who else I took home. I took Daisy home. There was no way I could leave her. I love her so much, so I'm happy that I took her home. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comments other places you would like for me to do a toy hunt. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do tons of unboxings on my channel if that's something you're interested in. Please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. All right, you guys, happy hunting, happy unboxing, and have a great Disney day. Bye-bye. <laughs>